YouTube, what's up? It's your boy Tactical Genius TV. Today we are back at it with my 2024 gun collection. We're going to talk about everything that we added onto the collection and let's get right into it. Now, first thing first, all these firearms have already been checked, double checked, and there's no ammo anywhere around. So everything is 100% clear. All right, let's get right into it. First thing first, salute to the Glock. We got the Glock 43X. The EDC monster, man, I mean, this one is probably one of my favorite firearms. The only thing about this firearm, guys, that I would say that's a downside is that I, I want to get a magazine with a little bit of an extension. So if you guys can see, I can fit about two, maybe two and a half fingers on there. I need that extension just so I can get a better purchase on the firearm. But besides that, I've had absolutely no complaints the only time i've had a malfunction with the firearm is because i torqued on if you guys see that right there that little nut i torqued on my sight too hard and on the glock like if you torque it down too hard uh for all of you guys that have glocks out there you already know if you torque it down too hard it's going to impede with all the mechanism the trigger mechanism in there um so besides that though that was my own user error besides that i've had no malfunction with the firearm everything i put inside of it it eats 115 grain 125 grain i mean i'm literally i'm it's edc right so i'm shooting a lot of rounds to this firearm and it's been extremely reliable it gets the job done uh so for the price point i absolutely love the firearm uh, the trigger, I mean, again, mine's is a little bit gummy, all right? But it's an EDC, guys. This is not like a range toy. This is going to be something that you guys are going to have on your person um, to protect your body, to protect your, your property. Um, so, again, it, it gets the job done. For the light, I got the Streamlight TLR6. I just like the look. You guys check it out real quick. I just like the look, all right? Overall Glock look. Beautiful. Glock 43X with the Sealy Cat optic on top gets the job done every time. All right? I'm going to rate this one. I'm going I'm to give this one about a 7.5 out of 10, guys. All right? Go ahead and leave it in the comments your score on the Glock 43X right now. This build. All right? All right, let's move on. All right, next, people, we got the Taurus G. X foe. <laughs> I love it. I mean, this thing is like a, a, it really is like a bull. All right. Um, if you guys have shot this one before, you know, there's going to be a lot of kick. We got the Hollison 407K on top for the trigger. Uh, a little tight, a little tight. It's not a performance trigger. Um, I do prefer this trigger over the 43X. That's just me personally. I know a lot of people talk a lot of trash about the Taurus, man, but I'm going to be honest. The GX4, this is my first Taurus, and I don't really have no problems with it. Is it the most accurate gun that I have? No. It's not super accurate um, for me and my hands. Uh, as far as how it feels in my hands, again, you're probably going to want some type of extension here in your mag um, to get a good purchase on the firearm, but besides that, Again, for an EDC firearm, you really can't go around. It's going to get the job done. It's going to go boom every time. Taurus, you guys did a great job, and this one is extremely cost-effective. Okay, here's the build, guys. The Taurus GX4. I want you guys to rate this one in the comments, 1 through 10. All right, next. Come on, man. Yes, sir. You already know what it is for the silhouette, baby. It's the Walter. PDP. <laughs> love the yo. I absolutely love this farm. Now, this one is really fun to shoot. Guys, I am such a Walter fan. This firearm for me has been absolutely insane. Um, overall, the texture of the grip itself on the PDP F series phenomenal okay it comes with a factory stipple that just feels extremely comfortable in my hand there's two different types of textures actually there's three different types of textures gripping in the front that's how i like to lock in right there come across with my support ham and i'm really locking in now i'm not squeezing too hard with these fingers and with that stipple that allows me to just manipulate the trigger manipulate the trigger i have a strong purchase on the firearm absolutely love it now when i go to press check because it's a Walter, you have these big serrations in the slide. And I mean, it's just a piece of cake. Uh, besides that, the performance of the trigger, guys. Let's take a look. All right, hold up. 
Reset right there. I mean, come on, man. Guys, you cannot be a Walter. For all my PDP lovers out there, man, I want y'all to go in the comments right now. And I want you guys to rate the Walter PDP 1 through 10 in the comments. All right, family. Next up, we got an exclusive. Yes, sir. We got the Daniel Defense. The H9. I had to get my hand on this firearm when it came out because uh, my Daniel Defense uh, DDM 5V7 is my favorite rifle that I own. That one is chambered in 5.56. And as soon as I saw this one released in SHOT Show, I had to beat down, literally beat down my local gun shop and let them know, listen, whatever we need to do, I need one. I need to be the first person that has one. And they were able to come through for me and hook it up. Let's talk about the performance. Now, guys, the H9, this firearm is absolutely insane. It's going to go. The aesthetic of the firearm, um, it has a, actually, it has a pretty heavy trigger. I mean, that trigger is about six pounds on there okay that triggers pretty heavy but i'm shooting this thing accurate and i'm shooting it quickly um my overall performance with this firearm without even having an optic on it yet has been extremely flat extremely accurate guys okay so again absolutely love it slide serrations um all the way throughout textured firearm high quality stuff and daniel defense i mean they just this is the cream of the crop, man. Um, I'm really happy I got this one, and I've been taking my time to put the right optic on it. The only downside I would say is that this plate took forever for me to get from Daniel Defense, man. They took their sweet time to bring me that plate. But besides that, now that I got the plate on there, I think I'm going to put the Trichicon on there so that way I can have some fun at the range. But again, guys, Daniel Defense H9, go ahead and rate that one 1 through 10 in the comments. All right. Yes, sir. Sig Shower. Now, I'm a Sig guy, guys, okay? So, this is my favorite EDC. Out of my smaller guns, this is my favorite EDC. Firearm is my most accurate EDC firearm, and it's the Sig Shower P365 AXG Legion. On top, I got the EPS Carry. On top. And I'm talking about 100% metal. I'm talking about that six hour performance. I'm talking about ported slide. I'm talking about like literally flawless. This firearm guys just runs absolutely flawless. Even the regular P365 uh, macro and the XL models run amazing. They're extremely popular. But then when you get that Legion metal frame with the extra accessories on the firearm extended mag release, I mean, my goodness. Now, I was able to switch out the trigger. This is not the stock trigger. This is a short stroke uh, performance trigger that we put on there. Let me give you guys a trigger pull. All right, short stroke performance trigger that we put on there. And overall, guys, I could not be more happy. Six Shower literally uh, is my favorite brand and I had to get my hands on this firearm when it came out. How does it shoot? Now for a small size pistol, I am actually really, really accurate with this firearm. Now again, I changed out the trigger and because I, I can anticipate when my firearm is gonna go off, all right? I think that's what's leading to me being a little bit more accurate because I got that performance trigger in there, the short stroke, okay? I know exactly when it's gonna break, all right? And there I can anticipate my shots, very accurate. Um, and my draw with this thing is extremely fast. I love this firearm. 10 out of 10 for me. Go ahead and rate it in the comments, guys. P365 AXG Legion. All right, guys. So this was my first Canic. We got the Canic Apocalypse. Um, this one, we got the Vortex sight on there. And the Apocalypse series is actually a Mete SF from Canic. Um, Kanek is actually a very, very up and coming brand right now. Everyone is ranting and raving about those phenomenal triggers. The, every single year they come out with a brand new signature series gun. Last year it was the Snow White, like Miami Vice, okay, and Miami Knights. And this year they have 
the apocalypse, okay? So you're gonna get all that zombie blood on there. You're gonna get the apocalypse engraving on the firearm. Fully textured firearm. This thing is a performance monster. For my smaller size firearms, guys, I'm extremely accurate for a few reasons. Number one, that canic trigger, it's just absolutely insane. It's a stock trigger and it performs like a performance trigger, okay? And that's the one you get right out of the box. And then number two, my personal opinion as to why this gun is extremely uh, controllable is gonna be that magwell that comes on the firearm. It just fits perfect. It's 100% snug, nothing is moving. My hands all know where to go on the firearm and everything is locked in. I can play with that trigger as much as possible and move my trigger finger independently. And because I'm so snug on this firearm, I mean, it's just nowhere to go. And then you have that Canik performance trigger. I mean, this thing is just laser accurate. I love shooting this firearm. I actually shoot this firearm too much, guys. I'm gonna be honest. I gotta give this one a break. Cause I'm just running. Like if I keep running this Canik the way I'm running it now, I'm probably gonna have to change out the barrel, guys. But this is the Canik Apocalypse with the Vortex Defender on it. Go ahead and give it a rating, one through 10 in the comments. I'm giving this one a 9.27689. Canic Apocalypse. All right, now it's time for the, the one that you guys all love. I mean, when I say you guys, it's because this one just for me, it just, uh, it's not one of my favorite firearms. I barely shoot the firearm. I was so excited when I got the Echelon because all the hype, you know? This is, this is one of those purchases where I was really like feeling the hype, guys. I'm just being real. My reviews, I keep everything real. I'm just telling the truth. I was so hyped up. Everybody, oh, Springfield, Springfield, Springfield Echelon. Guys, this firearm is really nothing to write home about. Um, just overall, I think I need to change out this frame. It just feels a little bit cheap, I would say. Um, especially in comparison to some of my other firearms. Feels very plasticky. And the trigger is a little tight. It's not that bad, guys. But just personally, I just don't like the firearm. I'm not accurate at all with the firearm. Um, maybe it's just me. I'm not accurate with it all. It doesn't feel good in my hand. And, you know, hey, man, if you guys have some recommendation, maybe some slides that I should change this out with just so it feels a little bit more comfortable. Uh, maybe a trigger I should upgrade this one to. Maybe I'll like it. You know, maybe I'll actually like shooting it. But but so far, this one, I put 500 rounds through it so I could do my review. And then after that, this thing has just been sitting in the safe, guys. I'm going to be honest. So maybe I'll put some. You know what? I'm going to start showing some more love to my Springfield Echelon. Um, now, we do on the top, we have the Sealy Wolf X Pro sight on there. That thing is absolutely indestructible. Um, but yeah, Springfield Echelon. I'm going to give it a 5 out of 10. And you guys can go ahead and leave your rating in the chat. Springfield Echelon. Okay, now we get into the big boys. <laughs> Every single gun from this point on is fire, okay? Every single gun from this point on is absolutely fire. So let's start it off. Let's start it off. Uh, with the Shark, the Tiburon, the MMP 2.0. Oh my goodness, competitor. Yo, what you talk about fire? This is fire with the EOTech on top. I mean, just listen. Uh, performance trigger. Guys, this gun is 100% stock. I didn't put nothing on this gun. This is how you're going to get it out of the box. The big boy Magwell, the aggressive stipple. Whew. You see the grips super wide. You see they flare out like that. Super wide. The shark fin, aggressive texture. You have a ported and comp, guys, I mean, you just, how can you go, this firearm for about $900, for about $900, I don't know what you could want more from, from, from m and <laughs> I don't know what you could want more. Smith & Wesson just knocked it out of the park. 
One of my absolute favorite firearms to shoot. I feel like I'm in a Western movie when I'm shooting this gun. You know? I mean, it's like that. And it looks insane. To me personally, this is one of my favorites. Um, they gave me so much in the box. I got four magazines in the box. I got like three back straps. I mean, MP just did a phenomenal job. Shooting this firearm is so much fun. Super duper accurate. The trigger, very nice. Okay, and um, you really can't go wrong. Uh, metal frame, and then there is some plastic pieces on there, but you have metal here, you have metal here. I mean, it's just a badass firearm, guys. One of my favorites, I'm giving it 10 out of 10. Smith & Wesson MMP Comp 2.0. I'm giving it 10 out of 10. I want you guys to go ahead and rate it in the comments. Yes, sir. Taren Tactical. Canon TTI Combat with the Holosyn 507 Competition Big Window. And the uh, Streamlight TLR-1. I mean, you don't really have to do nothing to this firearm. Before Canik touched it, you have a full-size Canik platform with the performance trigger, extended mag release. You have your flared magwell, super stipple, very, very texturized slide. You got your portholes all over the place. You got a beautiful comp system on this firearm as well. I mean, Taryn really went above and beyond. The TTI Combat is my most accurate firearm, I would say. It's up there between that and my staccato. But talk about fun to shoot. This thing is just absolutely fun to shoot. I mean, guys, it's a John Wilk gun for $1,000. You get yourself a TTI Combat, you got a John Wick gun done up by Terran Tactical, which is usually gonna cost you four or $5,000 with the collaboration with Kanik. Kanik is just a phenomenal brand right now. They are killing it. Um, they, have, they have made me a believer and a huge, huge supporter of their brand because they're just putting quality into their firearms. And I fell in love with the Apocalypse. I really fell in love with Kanik with the with the TTI Combat, this gun is perfect. It's a 10 out of 10. Between the trigger, reset, right there, nothing. Between the performance trigger, the flare magwell, the performance, I get a comp, everything I need with the firearm, and the price, guys, this gun is $1,100, $1,000. 10 out of 10, go ahead and rate it in the comments. Canic TTI. Combat. Yes, sir. You see it. It's the Gold Digger. The CZ Shadow 2. CZ is also a very impressive brand. They just do things a little bit different. The silhouette is different. The performance on this firearm is different. Full metal firearm. Hefty. This is the most heavy firearm that I have, which is going to help you. The heavier the firearm, the less recoil, okay? Because it's able to take a lot of that force that's coming back. It is an explosion that's coming out of the front side of your barrel. So the heavier the firearm, the, the easier that weight is going to help from keeping that, that nose of that firearm down. This CZ Shadow 2 is a special edition. This is the Gold Digger. Man, um, I love this firearm, guys. I absolutely love it. I bought this one. I'm going to try to turn it into one of my competition guns. I just did my uh, my unboxing and quick review on this firearm. So go ahead and take a look at that video. I won't spend too much time on it. But what I'll tell you, you will not be wasting your money. I promise you. The performance. When you're holding this gun, you know you are holding a supreme firearm. This thing is out of this world. The CZ Shadow 2. Everything about it from the controls to the aesthetic, to the performance, I'm gonna give it another 10 out of 10. CZ Shadow 2, phenomenal job. 
Oh, my bad. We got the Delta Point Pro on top of that thing. My bad, y'all. Delta Point Pro and a TLR1. I like the Delta Point Pro, guys. The rest of the guns that we have today have the Delta Point Pro. I just think, personally, um, it's, just, it's just my favorite optic. All right. Next, we got the most expensive gun on the list. This one hurt the bank account, but it's 100% worth it. This is the Staccato XL. Super long barrel, super accurate, super flat. This thing is like insane, okay? Insane. The Staccato platform is known for their performance and speed. But when I tell you the XL is just a big boy, it's like a bully. When I'm shooting with this in competitions, it's truly not fair. This thing came out of the box with the Flare Magwell, the very, very unique safety system, which is more of a hold. If you are not holding it there, the firearm will not go off, okay? Performance trigger, skeletonized. Ugh. I mean, this thing is just absolutely insane, guys. Um, I can't express to you how light this thing is. It is so light. Um, it's just butter. It's just butter. If you never shot a staccato, I promise you right now, I want you to just go to your local range. Call your local range where they rent firearms and ask them if they have a staccato for you to shoot. I know this gun is a little bit more pricey, guys, so I'm trying to look out for your wallet. But if you can't afford one, all right, if you have that luxury, don't go and, 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 and pawn some stuff, pawn your PlayStation 5 and mortgage your house to get one of these. But if you can afford one, it's definitely worth every single penny. The Staccato XL is a performance beast. It feels phenomenal in the hand. It is like butter. This thing is super flat, super accurate, literally no recoil whatsoever, and <laughs> super, super accurate firearm. 10 out of 10. Come on, guys. Hello. Staccato XL Delta Point Pro on top with the Shorefire X300. Oh, oh, brother. <laughs> 10 out of 10. Leave it in the comments, y'all. Yeah. All right. So, we made it this far. And you all want to know, last but not least, my favorite firearm, my most reliable, my most accurate, my most reliable, never had a malfunction. I've shot it the most. It's actually the first firearm we bought this year. This is the SIG 226X5 Legion. Best in class, nothing is touching this firearm. None of these guns is touching this firearm. To me, if I was going into battle right now, guys, if I was going to war, this is the firearm that I would choose because of its reliability, its performance. I just know this gun is gonna shoot. Guys, I shoot a lot, all right? I usually go to the range about two to three times a week and I'm shooting a lot. And I'm talking about we're going through at least 500,000 rounds minimum, right? Especially when we go out outdoor days. Sometimes two, 3,000 rounds are gone before you even know it. Guys, this firearm has never had a malfunction. I repeat, never had a malfunction. That is not normal for me. I'm just, I'm used to like, okay, what's going on? Where's it at? Where's the malfunction? I've had malfunctions with the CZ. I've had malfunctions with the Staccato. I've had malfunctions with the Springfield. I've had malfunctions with nine out of 10 of these guns. I've never had a malfunction with this gun, and I shoot it the most. Metal frame. The big boy gas pedal on this firearm. Manipulation is insane. Just because you have this, this thing is not moving. There is no recoil. This is your recoil deleter. Your follow-up shots right on point. Trigger. Crispy. Two and a half pounds. Reset right away. Guys, this guy, I can't express to you how, how awesome, how wicked this firearm is. Truthfully, the SIG 226X5 Legion best in class, 10 out of 10, 11 out of 10. <sighs> Buy it again, 10 out of 10. And you guys don't even need to leave, don't even leave a comment. Don't even leave a comment for this gun. And just leave a fire emoji for this gun. Don't even, don't even rate it. Just leave a fire emoji for this gun. Six hour, you guys did your thing. All right, y'all, if y'all made it this far, man, go ahead, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Make sure you show your boy some love. I appreciate it.
at the end of the year, we're going to run it back. And in the meantime, keep enjoying that fire content. Stay safe. Stay strapped. It's your boy, Tactical Genius TV. We out.